Hi, my name is Murray Burling. I'm the Executive Director for Med Ocean Science and Technology globally. I got into the industry in a bit of a roundabout way, actually. My original thought was to become an electrical electronics engineer a long time ago. Uh, let's just say the course matter was a little bit dry and uh, I spent a little bit too much time not in the, in the tutorials and the lectures. So I took a break from uni for a little while. Um, actually had a period where I thought about being a rock star and that didn't quite work out. One of my mates was finishing up at uni and basically said, you should look at environmental engineering. You know, that's gonna be a big thing in the future. Found myself, um, yeah, staying on at uni, doing a post-grad, learning about coastal engineering, oceanography, and really enjoyed it. Yeah, my passion for the ocean would have started, you know, as a kid. Um, like, you know, anyone who's spent a lot of time growing up in, in Perth, I spent, you know, most afternoons in, in summer through high school down at the beach. You know, love the ocean there, but um, fell in love with the, the science of, of the ocean once I, you know, got into higher studies. Often the easiest thing to say to someone is, yeah, I'm an engineer, because it, it's a bit more uh, relatable to people. Um, I get a lot of strange, um, strange responses when I say I'm an oceanographer at times, and people, but then people want to know what that means. Shark Bay, it's, um, you know, it is unique. There was so much to choose from in terms of studying um, Shark Bay, and from a science and a, and a oceanographic and a physics point of view, it's really super unique. There's two fingers, two large bays in Shark Bay, and each one behaves differently with the tide. And that's really quite unique in the world. It's, um, it's, a, it's a little bit strange. So that was fascinating too, um, to study. You got the interaction with the ocean and the bay itself, which is really, um, it's quite amazing because it creates an environment that's really fantastic, you know, for things like whales and, and the dugongs and, and other marine life, but it doesn't penetrate and affect some of the sort of more inland parts of the bay. So it's really quite amazing. And then I guess the, the third part of it is part of Shark Bay itself is super saline. So what we call hypersaline. So what that means, very, very dense, um, very particular type of marine biology associated with that. And so all that's controlled by the, the geography and the geometry of the bay itself. Developing new technologies has always been something that, you know, I've been passionate about, whether it's in the computer modeling space or um, in the measurement space. And it, it's, it's really about delivering the best information um, for the clients so they can make, you know, their best decisions. So recently we've been working um, in the renewable energy um, sector, particularly in offshore wind, uh, developing new measurement technologies to measure the wind profile above the, the ocean surface. So the developers of offshore wind farms, they need to understand uh, the wind profile um, because that's, that's the resource that they take. They, they use the turbines and they convert that resource into renewable energy, which is you know, obviously so important to us now. So it was a natural fit um, for a team that spent the last probably 40 years uh, measuring the ocean and building their own custom um, med ocean buoys to measure the ocean surface and what's below to basically take that learning and knowledge and turn it upside down and measure the wind profile. Um, so yeah, quite, quite amazing and, and really proud of what the team's been able to achieve. So these boys, um, the ones that are, we're using for the renewable industry, uh, they've been used worldwide. We've got boys currently offshore uh, Massachusetts in the US. We've got one that we've just pulled in over the weekend in uh, the Baltic Sea and off Poland. Uh, we've got four of them offshore um, the Dutch coast in the Netherlands. We've got one offshore South Korea right now. It's a really busy time for the team right now. This technology that's been um, designed and, and built um, and you know, spearheaded out of Perth is, um, is having a global impact.